been going on? Uh, yeah, I think I've really tried to separate myself from the situation, but um, today it definitely kind of caught up with me. I'm, I'm human like everybody else, and as um, much as I've tried to separate myself from it and focus on all the positive things that have come from it, I think I'm very tired. What do you think about response? I will most definitely give all of my evidence um, in the coming days, but I feel like, you know the expression, they took my quotes out of context, and when you put partial emails or emails from a 10 email long chain and just put one in, you don't get both sides. I understand that if you read it through, it looks like I'm a liar. I don't like being labeled a liar, just like anybody else. I, I want people to like me, but my love for the sport is much stronger than my passion to have people like me. Have you talked to USADA? Absolutely. When was the most recent time you spoke to Very them? recently. What did you tell them? I thank them for staying on it, for taking my truth and listening to it and not passing judgment on it, and for fighting to clean up our sport. If there comes a stage where you're um, invited to go under oath, would you testify? I would welcome that opportunity. I would welcome that opportunity for myself, for every former Oregon Project member, for every doctor that's been involved. Go under oath. I would welcome that opportunity. Is there any more you can tell us now about in response to what Alberto said? Any more allegations that you're aware of that you can share with us? Um, you know, I it's been hard. I get have constantly all day long people passing me information, um, wanting me to bring it forward. I really want to encourage all the people who have reached out to me to reach out to you, Sada, to please come forward. I pass everything along that you give me, but the case is much stronger if it comes from you. How does it feel like the case is building now? I feel very good about it. I believe in the truth, and I know that these things take time. I believe USADA is doing everything in their power. Think of how long it took for Lance. And I believe the truth will come out when, I don't know. I hope it doesn't put me in a situation like I had again today. But I survived today, and um, I'll be more prepared next time. When did you first talk to USADA? Uh, February 1st or 2nd, 2013. There was so much trouble between Adam and Alberto. Why did it take so long for that to come That will come out. There is a definite reason why there's trouble between Adam and Alberto. And there was a lot of fear involved. And I didn't want to have to share that publicly. But since this is becoming my reputation, my family's reputation, the companies I work for reputation, I will have to share that, unfortunately. Could you share that with us now? I will not. I'm sorry. What part of the statement did he take the biggest issue with? Oh, I mean, it all hurt. Um, basically, I was labeled a liar, which hurts because I'm a very truthful person um, in situations where it hurts me. Um, I think, um, I don't know, you know, calling Adam emotional and belligerent, but you know, Adam kind of laughed that off. I just, the whole thing was hurtful. I took offense to what was said about Steve Magnus. I had every faith in Steve Magnus. In fact, I love working out with Steve Magnus. I preferred Steve Magnus. And, um, you know, it just was unfortunate that instead of stating his truth, he had to involve personality and personal things into it. And, you know, I was warned this might happen, and I, I knew it would, but it did hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Cara, Mo has said he is staying with Alberto. Is I'm not going to comment on Mo and Galen. They have their truth and they have their reasons. I am not around them. My experience is my experience, you know, and I can only share that. I'm not going to make a comment on anyone on the team. They have their own things. I can't imagine what they're going through. I don't, I'm not going to like pick on anyone in the group. What would your advice be to an athlete who's thinking about joining Alberta? I would say think long and hard because you're going to be labeled something for the rest of your life. Yeah, how long have you been waiting to share this and how tough has it been to not? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember we've talked when, when you left Alberta and the reasons. This is a burden I've been carrying around for years and I, did, I didn't want to have to share it. I don't wish ill will on people but I care about clean sport. There's things I'm passionate about, my family and friends running clean sport and women's rights. And if I am, it's a burden I've been carrying for a very long time. I finally had the courage to speak to USADA when I was still with my former shoe company and that gave me a lot of confidence and strength. I have been harassed by media since 2011, harassed. And I just finally felt like enough people were going to come forward. It was going to be told from a great source. David Epstein is one of the most valued writers, especially when it comes to clean sport. And I just felt like I met with the people before I agreed to do it. And I just felt like the time has come. And 
you know, I will say that multiple, multiple sources have come forward since the program aired, and I don't even know who all of them are, so I definitely can't be manipulating it, and that makes me feel really good that people are, you know, yes, I'm being dragged through the mud, unfortunately I'll probably continue, but I'm still here, I'm still going to keep racing, and I stand by my statements, and I always will. All right, you bumped into Alberto since you've been out here? No, Alberto is, I don't see him. Steve Magnus said that Alberto has threatened him in the past. Has he or anyone else threatened you since this is you? No, but um, people have been threatened at this meet. I hope they come forward. Once again, they come to me. I hope they come forward. Carol, where would you like to see this end? I want my son to be able to believe in the sport and the system. I want USADA to show they work. And I want justice for everyone involved. Thank you.